Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. We're going to explore some additional text functions, the left, the mid, and the right functions. You recall from previous lessons that we combined information from multiple cells into one cell to produce a result such as the full name. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to extract or pull apart elements of a text string. In this case, we're going to pull apart elements in the pho phony social security numbers for our presidents. You might ask, how would that be relevant in my business? Consider part numbers. Part numbers may actually not be random collections of numbers and letters. Rather, elements of the part may give us significant information about the warehouse that it's stored in, the aisle that it's located in, and the bin that we pick it from. Or with a zip code, when we do demographic mailings, the first three characters in the zip code give us significant information about the demographics of that region. region. So let's come back here and learn how to use the left function to extract the first three characters in cell A3. We'll use the function wizard, so we'll type in equals left, and our left parentheses brings up the wizard. OK, let's move this box out of the way. The text string is in cell A4. The number of characters that we're going to extract are the three characters to the left. So the first three characters, type in 3. There's the preview. We're going to extract 333, three, three, the beginning characters. And if I were to copy this down just a bit through James Monroe, you'll see that in the phony Social Security number, 499 are the first three characters to the left. The right function follows exactly the same syntax as left. So equals right and the left parentheses. Let's follow the wizard. The text string is going to be in cell A4. And now we're going to be extracting the last four characters. So we type in 4, and there's our preview, 1111. Click OK. Copy this down just a bit. And we can see for James Monroe, 8407 are the last four characters. Now, the mid function is a little trickier. First, it requires an additional argument, as we'll see in a second. But what I first want to draw your attention to is the distinction between the way cells appear, in other words, the way they're formatted, and contrast that to the way that cells are actually input or stored. In this case, for cell A4, when I input the information, I did not type in 333-22-1111. Rather, I input it as a nine-character entry, 333-22-1111. But then I used special formatting for the cells. I applied the special formatting for social security numbers. So I don't actually have a hyphen stored in there. Rather, the hyphen is just purely a mask. It's displaying the characters that way. This is going to be important when we go through and use the mid function to isolate and extract the middle two characters. So let's start with equals mid and the left parentheses and our wizard. The wizard, again, is guiding us to the text A4. Now the starting number, remember, the starting number that we want to extract are the 2-2. Two, two. Where does that first 2 begin? It begins as the fourth character because 2 is stored as the fourth character. Ignore the display because that's not where the character is stored. And we want to extract the two characters in the middle. So there's a preview of our result. If we had not distinguished between formatting and stored records, we might have made the error of saying it starts at the fifth character, because that's what we see in the cell. And that result would have been incorrect, 2, 1. We don't want that. We want the stored character. So it begins at 4. Click OK. And there it is. Copy it down. And for James Madison, we see the 0, 3 is in the middle. OK, highlight those and copy it down. And that's our t lesson for today. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.